Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. Really appreciate you taking time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you in advance. Now, I'm very excited about this one because this is a game that I couldn't figure out the name of for like 30 years. And I thought it was a chess game because it was a board involved. And then I found out that it was not. So you may have heard of this one. Hopefully not. This is Archon for the NES. And when I say hopefully not, it's just because I like introducing games to people. So if you do know about this, that means you have a story to tell me about this. And I look forward to reading it in the comments. But for those of you who have never played this game or never even seen this game or heard of it, it is essentially a board game that you play where there's a light and dark side, essentially humans versus orcs. And what happens is you get the pieces against each other and similar to chess, each piece has its own movement type, right? Certain things can move certain ways. Certain pieces can go around things because they can fly over them. Certain ones have to go like actually around each other. Um, so, you know, there's strategy involved. Now, on top of the strategy involved, there is some skill required because when the pieces meet, they fight. This is my favorite part. Because you can take a piece which shouldn't be able to beat this piece in normal circumstances and you can win. That's hard. OK, but like the attacks usually have some sort of cooldown on them because they're like most long range, long range attacks. And like the melee people can just, you know, attack over and over again, shorter cooldown. And you can technically take a melee piece like a pawn, essentially a pawn. Right. And you could beat like the equivalent of a bishop or a rook or a knight. Now, you probably won't, but you could in theory. The other thing I always remember about this game is that it is best played against another person because the computer is strong and they will just fold you in. And it is very difficult to beat the computer. In fact, I don't believe I ever actually won a complete game against the computer. I won some battles, but not the war. Um, you have like what essentially is your king. So you have a wizard or a sorceress and they kind of control the battlefield. They can teleport pieces around. They can do different on the board spells. They can revive pieces. Like it's really cool how much depth this game has. And in fact, of like there's actually like a battle system in place. And this is just like blew my mind as a kid because uh, never had like a chess set or learned to play chess until like much later. And even now I'm terrible at best at it. But this was like a game that I remember playing and playing frequently. I had a, a cousin that had this game, but I couldn't remember the name of it. And when I would ask them back in the day, they would be like, I don't know, I think it was called Chess. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So I kept thinking this game was Battle Chess because the pieces fight when you match up in that game, but that's actually just a chess game that has animations. This is something different. This was something that was much better. I would really like for us to get something like this on the new consoles or PC or whatever it is. Probably won't. Haven't heard anything about this since then. If you know of anything that is similar to this, please let me know. Would love to hear about it. But more importantly, if you do know about this game, please tell me your stories about it. I was so excited. You have no idea how like just smile on my face ear to ear the moment I realized what this game was and what I was looking at when I found some footage of it online. So I was like, yes. I get to add it to the list. Love to hear your stories about it, as always. I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me reminisce and talk about games that you probably never heard of and don't care about, but it means a lot to me. Y'all have fun. Y'all be safe. Peace.